I got some purple crystal. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Behind me, I've got some purple flowers. Uh, this one, I do think I gave this one to my mom. I'm at my mom's place. And I love that with every video I make, I get to share not just my thoughts on music and events, people, things, but also just to share myself. So I'm literally um, broadcasting from my mom's window. I have my phone against the window and my mom has an array of different things on the window sill. Sill, still, una lechuza, a little um, owl for good luck those crystals, a little Buddha we got here. Buddha! A big old, <gasps> is this Ganesh? I think, I think it's Ganesh. Hindu. <gasps> a little um, Lechusa, another one. Clearly we see a theme here. Another Hindu god. I don't know who this one is. Oh, it's stuck. Oh my God, I think, oh! Some Christian saint. Does anybody know who this one is? He's, he's or she's carrying a basket. He's got a seashell and I don't know. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> I tell my mom. Anyways, I'm so excited. Oh, new music from Selena Gomez. Doing the Nicole Kidman clap. Yay. I love Selena Gomez as a person. I love Selena Gomez as a musician. She may not have the biggest or best voice out there, but it is distinct, much like Britney Spears' voice is distinct. Selena is the whisper queen. She knows how to use it, and she's also the queen of consistency. For the past decade, Selena has been releasing bop after bop after bop, and hopefully this latest one with Marshmallow is no exception. This new era, I loved Bad Liar. I really enjoyed self fetish, not selfish, fetish as well. And I eagerly await this new song. I hope she is uh, healthy and ready and willing and wanting to promote it. I personally want that from my favorite artists. Like, I want to see you perform it live. I want to see you talk about it. Like, I don't want you to just release music and want my money or stream. Um, I want a connection. I want to see you. I want to hear it. I want it all. So let's listen to this song. And um, fingers crossed. Okay. Selena and Marshmallow Wolves. I want to have it as loud as possible. Mmm. Her voice sounds amazing right now. Her voice has gotten better over the years. Or it's really good auto-tune. Both. <laughs> and I say that with no shade. Oh. I mean, it's, this feels familiar, but that's not a bad thing. Ooh, it's building. This is hot. I want an Irish Dance remix. Does anybody else hear the Irish, the Irish music influence, or is it just me? Thus far, I really like it. <clears throat> I 
I've got to really pay attention, though. I have no idea what the song's about. She's been running through the jungle, running with the wolves to get to you. It's a love song. Okay. It's a love song. The second chorus explodes even more. This is super radio friendly. I think radio will love this. I, I don't like it as much as Bad Liar, but I like it better than Fetish. You could tell that this song was written on guitar and then the production was built around it. As I think the best songs are, you need to be able to strip it all away and it should stand on its own. Oh, I loved that. I loved that. I don't think it'll be a straight out the gate smash, but that was so instantly pleasing. It's gonna be a slow, steady build for Wolves, much like it was for Slow Hands by Niall Horan. Niall's song took a long time to reach number one at pop radio. I think this will do extremely well at pop radio. It won't be like gangbusters. Look What You Made Me Do was gangbusters and it did massive right away. But then it dropped off because it didn't research well. I think this song will research well. Radio will love it. Listeners will love it. They'll love it even more upon further listens. There's nothing original or innovative about it. But as I said in the beginning of the video, Selena is consistency queen. Much like Kylie Minogue or Rihanna. Both of whom historically sang other people's songs. They did also write some of their music, but for the most part, they just sang other people's songs and they accepted the best songs possible. They got the hits from the hit makers. And to me, this is a hit. I, I wouldn't say it's the most exciting. I wasn't as excited when I heard Bad Liar, but I wasn't disappointed. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if she's committed to giving it her all in terms of promotion, and this will definitely be a hit. Hopefully she does the American Music Awards or SNL or something like that. I want to hear it a little bit again. And I, I need an Irish remix. Like that chorus is so like, it's like an Irish jig remix. Or it's like Irish music inspired. Did an Irish person co-write this? It starts off so well, too. I love it. Mm. I love that it's sexy, it's romantic. But it feels bright, too. Take it. Oh shit, this is so good. I'm enjoying it even more. Uh, uh, yes, I'm into it a hundred percent. Hit, hit, hit. Great job, Selena and Marshmallow. Full on claps, full on claps. Mwah, a big kiss and a hug to you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hit the like button, favorite button. Share this video, comment. And if you're not following me already, follow me, follow me. My mom has so many things here. <laughs> Bye.